Hello, everybody. This is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of GP Answers and Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly add favorites to Internet Explorer. So I'm talking about this guy right here under favorites. All right. So this is going to be a very basic demonstration. There's some more advanced ways to uh, manipulate this stuff. I'm only going to go over the basic stuff here. If you wanted to go over the advanced stuff, well, you got to come to my Group Policy Master Training class. Next one coming soon. So check out the schedule at gpanswers.com. Anyway, so let's take a look. So this is what we're after, this favorites guy here. We want to add a new favorite. Actually, to be honest, this box doesn't even have internet connectivity. So um, we won't be able to test that part, but I will be able to test demonstrating how to get a favorite in there. So the way you're going to do this is, uh, well, let's take a look. Who are we? Well, we're a guy called East Sales User one So I'm going to, for all of my East Sales users, let's... Uh, use GP prefs to drop in a new IE favorite. And then we'll edit this guy and it really couldn't be any easier. So under user side, preferences, okay, we're gonna dive down under shortcuts and we'll create a new shortcut. And uh, let's go ahead and make the target type a URL. And the location we're going to make is the Explorer favorites. Look at that, nice drop down. And we'll just call this www policypack.com as the the name here, the target URL, and we'll make the icon path, this little question mark guy. All right, there you go. So that's it. It's uh, that simple to do. We'll go ahead and click OK here. We've locked and loaded our directive into group policy preferences. We'll go back over to this machine. We'll run GP update, and uh, let's see if the magic occurred. Okay, GP update has updated. Let's go ahead and run Internet Explorer, go to favorites, and there you go. We've dropped the new favorite in. So if you're looking for some advanced techniques on how to manipulate this stuff, uh, because you might have weird circumstances, like maybe on a terminal server, you get one set of conditions. On Windows 7 or XP, you get different connect uh, a different set of conditions, or different versions of IE, you want different things to happen. When it comes to that, that's the kind of advanced training that you're going to get should you decide to uh, invest in my online or my live group policy training classes. So next one, it's on the books. Go to gpanswers.com forward slash training, figure out uh, where the next one is, and I hope to see you there. Thanks so much and talk to you soon.